Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss how you can trigger your test ng test case with the help of AND. So for that, we are going to follow our directory structure. Inside our project, we will have AND as a directory. Inside AND, we will have a build as a subdirectory. Now the build directory will contain bin as a subdirectory, which will have all the compiled classes. Source directory, which will have all the Java file. Test output directory, which will be used for report generation. And lib directory, which will contain all dependent jars. Okay. So inside my project, I have created and directory. Inside and I have a build directory. And inside build, I have a build.xml. So as I told you earlier, and totally rely on build.xml for configuration. So this is how a plain build.xml looks, where we have a project name, default attribute, and base dir attribute. So if you want to perform some action using AND, you need to specify the steps. And in AND, those steps has to be specified in the form of target. Okay. So let me show you one simple target. So in build.xml, if you want to create a target, you need to take the help of a target tag and every target will have a name. So let's say test. One. And inside this target, you need to specify the sequence of steps which you want to execute with the help of AND. So for example, using the echo tag, I will try to display a string at the console. Okay. Now, if you look at here, we have a default attribute. That means whatever the target new name, you will specify as a value of default attribute and will execute that target. Okay. So in our case, the target name is test1. So I'm going to change the default attribute value as test1. Okay. Now, if you want to run the target or if you want to run the build.xml, just select the build.xml, do a right click, run as and build. So as you can see that this is the target name which is coming from here and it has displayed the string at the console. Okay. So let me create one more target. It is possible that you can have multiple target inside the same build.xml but the target name should be unique. Okay. So let me make it test2 and this will print test2. If I run this build.xml, so again as you can see that it has triggered the target with name test1 because this is coming from your default attribute. Because here we are not specifying any target name that's why it is picking up the target which we specify inside the default attribute. However, if you want to run a target explicitly just right click on the build.xml, run as and select and build. Now here as you can see that it has list down all the target which is present inside the build.xml and also from the default attribute the ant has figured out that test1 is the default target. That's why by default it is checked. So if you want to run test2 just select it, click on apply and cl click on run. So it will trigger the test2 target. Okay. So now we'll talk about the base dir attribute. So as you can see here, in the base dir attribute, I have given single dot as a value, which represent the current directory. So whatever the configuration, for example, creating a directory, deleting a directory, in all this, all that scenario, the base directory will be considered as the current directory where the build.xml is there. So for example, build.xml is present inside the build folder. So if I create or delete any folder or file, it is going to look into build folder. Okay. Because we have build.xml inside build folder. However, if I change the base dir attribute, let's say lib. So now the reference directory will be lib folder, which is present inside the current directory. Or in other words, it is going to check for the lib directory, which is present in the same folder where you have build.xml. 
okay so i will stick to with i'll stick with single dot as a value of base dir attribute so here first of all we need to create this directory bin src test output and lib so for creating the directory i will create a target name create and inside this target i will specify the step for creating the directory so if you want to create a directory using ant you need to take the help of mkdir tag and here you need to specify the directory name so let's say bin then we have src then we have lib and the last one will be your test output okay and let us suppose that you have already created this directory and you are running your build.xml for the second time so in order to run it as a fresh we need to cre uh, we need to delete already created directories so i'm going to create one more target where i'm going to delete all this directory before creating them so let me call it delete and inside and if you want to delete a directory you can take the help of delete tag so delete and specify the directory name so bin src and test output now here as you can see we have create target and we have delete target but i want to execute create target only after the delete because when i run the build.xml first i need to check whether these directory are there if they are there if they are present just delete those directory so i want to create a dependency among this so in ant you can create a dependency among target with the help of depends attribute and here you need to specify the name of target so here i have created a dependency among create and delete target so as soon as i trigger the create target first it is going to trigger the delete target after that it will trigger the create target so it is similar to that attribute which we used in test ng that is depends on group or depends on method so now i am going to change the default target as create and i will do a right click run as and build so as you can see in the console delete target got executed then create and it has created the directory so let me do a refresh of my project so as you can see that it has created the directories okay now once this is done our next step is that to copy all the java source file inside the src folder so i will create one more target and let me call it as copy it will have dependency on create target now in order to copy a directory you need to take the help of copy dir tar, uh, sorry tag so destination will be you need to move it to this location so this will be my target location and source location will be this and also you can include and exclude any directory so i'm going to exclude one directory which is present inside uh, the source that is lib directory because the lib directory will be parallel parallel to src in our ant folder so for excluding i will use this reg regular expression 
okay so using the exclude attribute you can uh, exclude any directory just specify the name over here okay now once this is done after that we need to copy all the jar file inside the lib folder so for that I am going to use the copy tag here I will specify the which directory I need to do a copy so it will be this lib directory and also I will use overwrite flag so it's simple if the jar are already there it is going to overwrite those jar and I will make it as true now here we need to copy multiple jar so when you are when it's come to ant when sorry when you deal with copying a multiple file inside ant you need to take the help of a file set tag file set and make sure that this file set tag should be inside your copy tag so here you need to specify the directory from where you need to pick up the files so this will be this location and also here you can add the filter that only includes star slash star dot jar file so this regular expression what it does it is going to search each and every folder which is present at this location and only include the file which have the extension as dot jar for copying purpose okay just like we did in here in our copy dr tag where we exclude the lib folder okay because the lib folder will be inside the src folder so we excluded that particular folder using this regex similarly you can include only selected file using this regular expression okay now once this is done let me run it just do a right click run as and build okay let me first change the default target value so so as you can see that first the delete target got executed then create then copy and finally it has copied the uh, required directory and file into, into the corresponding folders so if I do a refresh of my project so as you can see that inside source we have com we have customer cert we have data we have test case inside lib we have code mapper dot jar selenium standalone server dot jar and test ng jar okay so the next step is that to compile all the java file and put the source file sorry put the compile class inside the bin folder so in ant if you want to compile any java file you need to take the help of java c tag so again i will create a target and let me name it as compile and it will have a dependency on copy and also i am going to make the default attribute value as compile so inside I'm going to use Java C tag now first of all I need to specify the source direct directory from where I need to pick up my Java files for compilation so this will be the location after that I need to specify the destination directory after the compile so this will tell after the compilation where to put all your class file so it will be this location okay and also I can specify the filter directly over here so I want to include only star star slash star dot java so this regular expression will tell that inside the source location search for every folder and inside every folder include only the file which have extension as .java okay so let me run this so as you can see at the console our 
target where we are compiling the Java file, it is throwing some error. That is package annotation does not exist. So reason why we are getting is that we as we know that we have a dependency on some external jar file. Those are code mapper, cell enemy server and test ng. But during the compilation process, we didn't include those jar file at the class path. Okay. So here we need to set the class path for ant also. So inside ant, if you want to set the jar file at the class path, you need to take the help of path tag and along with an ID attribute. So this ID attribute will have a value as class path and using this attribute, this particular, I can refer the same path in multiple targets. Okay. So first let me set the jar file at the class path. Then I will show you how you can refer to this path tag using the ID. Okay. So in order to set the jar file at the path, use the path element and the location. So as we know that all the jar file will be present inside the lib folder. So lib slash code mapper. jar file. Similarly for other, so this will be your selenium server standalone jar and the final will be your test ng jar. And also as we know that after compilation all the class file will go inside the bin folder. So I'm going to set the class, uh, sorry bin folder at the class path. Location bin. Okay. Now in order to refer to this particular path here, I need to take the help of class path ref. Okay. So this is the attribute where I need to specify the ID of the path tag where I'm setting all the jar par at jar file at the class path. Okay. Now if I run it again, so now if you look at the console, compiling 11 source file and it has moved all the source file to the bin folder. And here we are getting a warning saying include runtime was not set, include and runtime was not set. So if you get this kind of warning just use this attribute include and runtime and make it true. Now if I run this again so as you can see that at the console first the delete target got executed it deleted all the directory then create target got executed it created all the directory then copy target executed it copy required directories and jar file to the corresponding folders and finally the compile target got executed which compiled all the 11 source file and move them inside the bin folder okay So in this manner, you can take the help of AND to do your required configuration. In our next video, we are going to see how you can trigger your test ng test case with the help of AND. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.